Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to find area for two scores on opposite of the mean. Okay, so this is the second scenario in the Z scores. Okay, so the example is what is the percentage of students scoring between 62 and 72 given the mean of 70.7 and standard deviation of 10.27. In this case, one of the value is below the mean, mean is 70.7 and we are asking the score between 62 and 72. So, 62 is below the mean, 72 is above the mean. So, that is what we mean by finding the area for two scores opposite of the mean. So, mean is 70.7, there is one score below, one score above. Okay, so what is the step one? Similar for any other z-score firstly you need to convert the raw score into the z-score so what are the raw scores i have 62 and 72 so for 62 i convert it to the z-score 62 minus the mean 70.7 divided by standard deviation 10.27 i get negative 0.084 so this negative is trying to indicate that this raw score is below the mean now for the second z-score is 72 Sorry, for the second raw score is 72 and then I convert it to z-score. 72 minus 70.7 divided by 10.27, I get 0 0.13. So, the area under the curve is middle one, middle line is the mean. So, there is a score below the mean and there is a score above the mean. So, for the below one is negative 0 0.84. So, this is the z-score. For the above is 0 0.13. So the area that I need to find out, this is the range, right? I want to identify the range, the percentage between these two. So I need to identify this shaded area. So how do I find out? Look in the table. That's how my step two. So in the table, how do I look for it? So if I don't have a value, a table that I can find from negative 0 0.84 to 0 0.13. So I need to find section by section so i have to find this area first and then i add to the next area so the probability um for a probability for the area or the a proportion of the area between negative 0 0.84 till 0 plus will be area from the mean so from the mean to the specified z-score. Okay, so this area you can find from the column B. The same thing applies here from the mean to the z-score. So this area can also be found in the table. So this is also from the column B from the table that we can find. So when we get once you get these two, these shaded and this shaded second section, you can add them all up. So the proportion or the probability area between for area negative 0 0.84 to 0 is area from the mean okay area from the mean then you can get it from the table and this is you can add the value from 0 to 0 0.13 so this area so from the table for the first area between Zero, negative 0 0.84 and 0 you will get 0.2995 between 0 and 0 0.13 you get 0 0.057 some of you might ask this is negative in the table there is no negative values remember normal curve it is symmetrical so that means 0 point, negative 0 0.84 to 0 or 0 to 0 0.84 it is the same area so you will get 0 0.295 okay so this when you're finding the area you can ignore the sign you can ignore the negative values because they are symmetrical so there is no negative values on the table because it carries the same meaning with the positive so when you add these two areas you get 0 0.3512 the proportion of these um, um, the range between negative 0 0.84 and 0 0.13 is 0 0.3512. Next step is we convert it into 
percentages. So step 3, we convert it into percentages. Multiply by 100, you get 35.12. So 35.12 of the students score between 62 and 72. So 35% of the students' scores are between 62 and 72. Hope it was clear. Thank you.